name's Elise and today I'm going to interview you and I am just going to be typing all of your answers um, just to keep track of everything that we go over today because I don't want to forget Right, so um, without wasting any time here, could you give me your name? Give me a full name, please. Do you have a middle name? Okay. And is there any reason for your middle name? Like, I don't know, some people have their mother's or father's name as their middle name or an old family name, something like that. Just, just a random name. Okay. Yeah. We get a lot of Marie or like Anne for female middle names and boys. We get a lot of like William or John, stuff like that. So, yeah. We do get some interesting ones though. I usually have a reason for them. So, anyway, um, what is your, your date of birth, please? Yeah, I'm gonna need month, day, and And that makes you how many years old? Don't feel like doing the math right now. Okay, that sounds about right. Alrighty. And according to your date of birth, you are a Libra. Yep. Libra. Okay. Um. Do you believe in astrology, the zodiac signs, all that, you know? No judgment, you can say whatever you think. I personally do not judge any answers that you provide me with today. I am simply the transcriber. My job is just to listen and then type. Okay, um, and why do you feel that way about zodiac signs? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Okay. And then... What is your, your hometown? still live in your hometown where you grew up or moved away for school or work or something? Okay. And speaking of school or work, um, what is your occupation? Hmm. Okay. And for how many years have you been doing that? And then, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you enjoy that job? You can be honest, I won't tell your boss. Hmm. Okay, it's not bad. And dun, 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 dun. Okay, what is your shoe size? Would you just be like in terms of width, with like normal, or do you need like a wide sole shoe or more narrow, or anything is fine? <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay, and then how many times have you been to Disney in your whole life? Like any Disney parks? Talking Magical Kingdom, talking Disney World in Florida, and talking Disneyland out in California. Any Disney parks all around the world? Hollywood Studios, Epcot, water parks count too, yeah. Hmm. There you go. Take your time, think about it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I find that to be a very good indicator of a lot of things about a person, actually. You can tell a lot about a person by how many times they've been to Disney. Hmm. Right. Okay. And your favorite color is... Hmm. Do you always say that, or do you pick a different color every time? Is it more of like a mood thing for you, or are you really confident in this being your favorite color? Hmm. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Or a little bit of both? Omnivert? Hmm. I think most people are actually introverts. You can be a social introvert, you know? Or you can be an anti-social introvert. <laughs> yeah, but I do find that most people actually answer introvert when I ask. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum, bum bum Hmm. Give me one moment. doing an interim check where I have to write my opinion of you thus far into the interview and part of the job I'm trained actually to sort of analyze the behavior of um, the interviewees and combine, you know your more subconscious behaviors with your answers and sort of psychoanalyze you a bit, but nothing, nothing too deep, nothing too heavy. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, you'll have access to your file um, at a later date when all your data is processed. Ice cream flavors, right? Ice cream flavors? Yeah, I don't think I mentioned you about No, I did it. Okay. So first of all, I'm just gonna... Before you tell me your favorite flavor, I don't want to hear it. I want to hear between chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Chocolate, okay. And then between vanilla and strawberry. Okay. And now you may tell me your favorite. How do you feel about mint chocolate chip ice cream? Mint chocolate chip ice cream? Okay. And then how do you feel about pineapple on pizza? I'm not judging you. I'm not. So, yeah, you can beauties. Judgment. Free. Have you been to Hawaii? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Speaking of your travels, what is the farthest away you've been from home? Farthest away you've been. And was that for vacation, travel, or was it like work related? Just travel. Okay, when was that? Okay. Okay, now I would like to do a little word association game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say a word and then you're gonna tell me exactly what comes to mind when you hear that word. Okay, ready? So first is green. Grass, yeah. Okay, grass. Okay, plants, yeah. All right. Um, banana. Monkey, yeah. Got it, okay. Um, Fire. Okay. Water. Yeah. Makes sense. And flowers. Flowers. Okay. Seventeen. interesting one because some people think of meat like chicken or something some people think of meeting a friend so it's quite telling of where your mind goes with that one okay cherry blossom yeah most people say japan when they hear that Okay, and cotton, cotton, dentist, dentist, okay, happiness, hmm. yeah. most people say smile, most people say smile. <clears throat> queen, queen, <laughs> okay, and laundry. Oh my goodness, let me stretch for a second. I see typing here all day long. I can really take it out of you, let me tell you. Because I'm here in this position, I'm just all day long. And I really feel it right here. I feel it right here. So, don't mind me, excuse me. I'm gonna give you a brain break because I know that it can be a little bit mentally taxing um, to have to answer these questions. So consistently, so I'll give you a brain break, give me a neck break, we'll both be happy. Give me a second. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, I think 
I've got enough data on your word associations. Are you familiar with your MBTI? Do you know what the MBTI is? It's like a personality test type thing. If you're not familiar, it's totally fine. Um, but yeah, personally, I am. What am I? I am. I am. I think I'm INFJ. Yeah, I'm INFJ. INFJ. Yeah, I think you're an I, and I would say you're an N. Maybe a T. Maybe a P. Maybe INTP. I'm getting INTP vibes from you. Could totally be wrong. I'm not. I I don't know anything. So, um. Anyway, do you like sports? Just generally. Do you like them? Yes or no. You can say neutral. Yes, no, or neutral. Do you like sports? Okay. What is your favorite sport? You can give me favorite to watch and favorite to play. Okay. Why do you why do you like those particular sports? What is interesting about them to you? say a number. I'm going to say a number and then I want you to assign a color to the number. Don't need a reason. Don't need to think about it too much, but I'm going to say number and whatever color you think matches that number, say it to me, okay? And don't think about it too hard, all right? 11. Okay. 17. 20 mm -hmm. 2 mm. 9 Okay 24 Okay, okay And then 50 Okay. Three. Mm hmm. Four. One. A lot of people struggle with one. But, um, okay. Seven. Eleven. Twenty-two. Twenty-nine. Okay. One hundred. Ninety-four. Mm -hmm. Okay, twenty. Okay, four. Mm -hmm. Three. Eleven. One seventeen. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. 
500. Fifteen. Five. Okay. All right. That was interesting. That was interesting. Okay, let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you a little bit. I tell you a little bit. So. What we like to do is take a look, and I don't know if you picked up on it or not, but I did repeat some of the numbers multiple times, um, and we try to look for patterns. So did you say the same color for the same number, or a number numbers including the same digits, or numbers with similarities, like, yeah. And anyway, and if we do find patterns or consistencies, in repeated numbers, um, there's a chance that you have something, um, called synesthesia, 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 pause, sorry, synesthesia, <laughs> where basically you have associations, um, between colors and abstract concepts like numbers or sounds, um, a lot of people associate music or kind of see, mentally see, or feel colors when they hear sounds, or a lot of abstract things like months, or days of the week even, or numbers, or yeah, or even people you can associate with colors. Um, so that's just one little test that we just like to see. To what extent are you associating in a consistent manner certain concepts with colors? I think it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it is interesting to see if there's, you know, any among the people who do have signs of synesthesia, are there any similarities between the colors that they associate with certain numbers? Like, maybe if I say that number n number nine is yellow, which I personally do think number nine is yellow, um, if other people with synesthesia would say that number nine is yellow. The month of November is also kind of yellow. It's kind of, kind of goldish, kind of goldish, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, let's move on. I'm doing another interim report. Do you have a favorite animal? I just, I suddenly remembered, um, hedgehogs and I thought it'd be funny if I ask you your favorite animal and you say hedgehogs because I was really thinking that um, and I, I actually included that in my interim report that you evoke thoughts of hedgehogs to me yeah, I, I, I like hedgehogs. I've, I've met some before.
Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pets? It's not a question for the for the data. I'm just curious. Do you have any pets? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I'm kind of just dilly dallying at this point. I don't think I need to ask anything else. I think I have all I need. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'll do a little final check here. Oh. How was this experience for you? Honestly, I'm dead all asleep. Oh my goodness, oh. There goes the yawns, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can read it on a scale of 1 to 10. Mm, for how bearable this was, mm, would you recommend it to a friend? Okay, and then how did you hear about us? So like an ad, or recommended from someone, or... Okay. Okay, yeah, that helps. shower in the morning or at night? Or both. Both is good too. But I do find big differences between morning shower people and nighttime shower people. I, d I did want to ask that earlier actually. Thank you for reminding me. Appreciate that. So with that, I'm going to put our interview to an end for now. Mm, and if you um, have any other concerns, feel free to contact us um, either by phone or by email. Yeah, and um, yeah, your data will be available. In the next few weeks, we'll send it to the email you have on file. We have on file for you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you next time, maybe. Bye-bye.